So if we continue with 5.8, um, I forgot to do this in the previous one, but this will be a nice segue into the uh, example. So we're looking at, recall we're looking at explosive separation. So for example, another way of looking at an explosive separation is if you compress a spring in any kind of way, and then we know that the relative velocities between these two objects are zero, and then we let go, and the velocities are different. So the relative velocity is different. So we have the internal energy of the spring, right? Just imagine you compress a spring. What does that spring want to do? It wants to release this kind of stored energy. So you've got this stored energy in the spring, uh, internal energy, and then when you release it, that all that internal energy gets transferred to the uh, the carts. So then you've got an increase in kinetic energy. And if you look at your velocity time uh, diagram, both the carts, cart one and two, will have the same initial zero velocity in this case. And then after the explosive separation, that internal energy will be transferred to the carts. One cart will go in the negative direction and the other cart will go in the positive direction. Okay, so now let's have a quick look at an example. Um, well, first of all, r always remember that your two, as long as this is an isolated system, we can use the conservation of momentum. So there's initially no momentum, and then there is momentum for each of the objects afterwards. However, momentum is conserved. So the momentum of this is the negative of the momentum of this, okay? because momentum is conserved in an isolated system. So there's our one tool, remember? So conservation of momentum. And then the other tool that we have is that uh, this is the total change in energy is delta K plus delta E internal. So recall that delta K is the negative of delta E internal. So here we've got the final kinetic energy. Notice there's a final because the zero kinetic energy, the initial kinetic energy is zero. And we have the final kinetic energy plus the delta internal, delta E internal is equal to zero. So let's have a look at an example. Okay, so I haven't got this figure here, but in figure 5.8, uh, I'm not sure exactly how it looks, but you've got a spring that's compressed and you've got a cart, 0.25 kilogram cart, held at rest against a spring. Okay, so say that's a wall, okay, um, and then it's released, okay, and then obviously when it's released, it begins to move, and the cart speed after it separates from the spring is so V final is 2.5 meters per second. So this is also an explosive separation. But, the, but we use this for something else. The same spring okay, is then compressed by the same amount between two carts now, a 0.25 kilogram and a 0.5 kilogram, as indicated here. So cart 1 has a larger change in velocity, so where's cart 1? So this one needs to be the 0.25, if I'm not mistaken, and that one needs to be the 0.5. Okay? So you've got two carts, 0.25 and a 0.5 kilogram, and they're compressed. Okay? So, what, and they're, re they're released from rest. What are the cart's speeds after separating from the spring? So what I like to tell all my students, this question is easier than you think, and you've got the tools to solve it. But what we need to see is that this is an explosive separation. Okay? Explosive separation. So there's a certain amount of internal energy inside. So if there's the spring, and there are my two carts, so that's my 0.5, and there's my 0.25. There's a certain amount of internal energy that is able to be transferred to these two carts. The first time it was, it was transferred to a single cart of a 0.25 kilogram. And now that same, the same internal energy is transferred to these two carts. 
So we need to find out what is that internal energy that is transferred to these two carts. And the way that we do it is we know that delta K <coughs> is the negative of delta E internal. The change in kinetic energy of this cart is equal to the negative of the change in the internal energy. Why do we want the internal energy? We'll see that in a minute. So this is K final minus K initial on the left here. What is K initial? K initial is zero because uh, the velocity initial is zero. So what we've got here is we've got K final, the final kinetic energy of this cart is equal to the negative of the change in internal energy. So what is K final? It's this. It's half mv squared of this cart. And if you put that in, you've got the mass, the inertia, 0.25, and you've got the velocity, 2.5 squared. And this is, the in, this is the energy, the kinetic energy, of this cart after the spring has converted all its internal energy, or transferred all its internal energy to the cart. Okay? So now we know <coughs> this 0.78 is the total amount of internal energy that this spring can uh, transfer to these two carts. All right? I hope that makes sense. So now we've got this. E internal is the negative of that. So what we're trying to say is that the internal energy dropped by 0.78 and transferred it to the cart. So now we can chuck away this example. All we wanted from this example was to find out how much internal energy can be transferred. And so we found that to be 0.78. Now, now we've got this system. And again, this is an isolated system. Isolated. And what can we do if we, um, if we have an isolated system? We can apply conservation of momentum. Right? If you look carefully, this is the conservation of momentum say m cart 1 m v 1 plus m 2 v 2 initial is equal to m 1 v 1 plus m 2 v 2 v 2 final final okay and we know that the initial momentum is zero so this is where th this is where this equation comes from okay so we've got the V1 final, we've got M2, M1, and we've got V2 final. So, conservation of momentum, we've got one equation there with how many unknowns? V1 final and V2 final. V1 final, V2 final. So remember, what are we doing? We're trying to find the cart speeds after separating. So then, what is the next uh, tool in our tool bag? Is conservation of energy. Again, Delta K plus delta E internal is zero in a closed system. So this is K final minus K initial is equal to the negative of delta E internal. What is K initial of the two spring of the two carts? Zero. What is K final? It's going to be half M V squared of cart one plus half mv squared of car 2 final okay and i'm not going to go into all the details but if you if you apply this you get this equation here and recall that the delta e internal is minus 0.78 you plug in all your values and you get v2 final and v1 final and you can see they are going in opposite directions, which makes sense. Okay, guys. So, we first used this system to find our internal energy. The internal energy for both of these has to be the same because the spring is the same. It, get co it gets compressed the same amount and it and expands the same amount. So, we find the E internal, then we apply it to this. We have an isolated and a closed system, which means we can apply conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. Cheers.